With the release of the sixth season's second half, including six episodes, on Netflix, The Crown has officially concluded. The current run covers Princess Margaret's death in 2002 and William and Kate's meeting in 2001, and it concludes around the time of Charles and Camilla's wedding in 2005. It has long been known that the show will conclude with its sixth season, far in advance of the current year. However, why is that the case, and is there any chance that the drama may reappear in some capacity? Why is season 7 of The Crown not happening? It has always been intended that The Crown will conclude before the present and that there will be a limited number of seasons required to get there. Creator Peter Morgan has always planned for this to go for six seasons. As the fifth season of the program approached its conclusion in 2020, Morgan declared, Now that we have begun work on the stories for season 5 it has become clear to me that this is the perfect time and place to stop. It was revealed later that year that Morgan had altered his mind and that season 6 would indeed mark the end of the show. He gave the following explanation, As we began to talk about the stories for series 5, it quickly became apparent that we should stick to the original concept and complete six seasons in order to properly capture the richness and complexity of the tale. To be clear, series 6 will only allow us to explore the same time in more depth, it won't get us any closer to the present. Morgan previously gave the following explanation for why the series should conclude about 20 years behind the present day. I kind of have in my head a 20-year rule. That is sufficient amount of time and space to fully comprehend anything, including its significance, function, and place. Things that seem incredibly significant at the time are frequently quickly forgotten, while other things tend to endure and show themselves to be historically significant and enduring. How does Peter Morgan feel about the crown coming to an end? More recently, Morgan discussed his choice to conclude the show where he did and how the climactic scene was altered in the wake of Queen Elizabeth II's passing in 2022 in an interview with Variety. Morgan stated that stopping almost 20 years before the present day is dignified and that the 2005 cutoff was set in order to keep it historical, not journalistic. In the same article, Ted Sarandos, co-chief executive officer of Netflix, disclosed that during the series' initial development, there was a conversation during which it was proposed that the show would conclude with the Queen's demise. Still, she essentially outlived the program. Morgan explained how the Queen's passing affected the climax, saying, We'd all experience the funeral. I thus had to attempt to figure out how the last episode dealt with the character's death, even though she hadn't passed away yet given how strongly everyone would have felt it. Will there be prequels or spin-offs? The Sun earlier reported that the streamer planned to keep the program running as a movie, or perhaps a series of specials in the future. Rumors and rumors suggesting a spin-off or prequel series to the show could be in the works have been around for a while. At the time, Radiotimes.com was aware that no firm preparations had been made for any upcoming spin-offs, and that The Sun's claim was only conjecture. But Morgan did say in an October interview with Variety that he had an idea for a spin-off, but he has to do some other things first. It would definitely be a prequel, taking place before Elizabeth II's reign. He revealed, adding that a unique set of circumstances to come together would be necessary. In the same interview, Ted Sarandos declared, I have complete trust in Peter, and we would certainly investigate if he thinks there are tales to be told there. The writers of the program were reportedly preparing a series of raunchy royal stories in December 2023, according to The Sun. Nevertheless, Peter Morgan said, I'd sooner go write about something else for a while, and let's see, when Deadline questioned him about if this was feasible. It's often hard to discern how much turmoil there actually is inside the royal family or how much the media wants to write about them. However, I believe that for now, some space is ideal. Therefore, even if Morgan doesn't seem to rule out the possibility of more tales regarding the royal family, it appears unlikely and he doesn't have any plans for the near future. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of media breakdown.